Hello and welcome. I'm Mohammed, and in this video, I'm going through creating controls lab tutorial. This video was encouraged and instructed by Professor Oyang and uh, sponsored by Memorial University of Newfoundland. The objective of this video is to prepare your computer for control simulation laboratory, and this is basically installation guide for Quark 2018 service pack 1. I've surfed on the internet and I couldn't find similar video. There are PDFs, guidelines, how you can install Quark, but no videos. I've gone through the installation myself and had several problems. And after all of them was, I, I, I was successful to install Quark 2018 Service Pack 1. So I decided to create slides instead of installation uh, to explain the installation of Quark. So the reason that I'm not going to install software myself at, in this video is that um, I'm going to save time and I have the, install, the files, all of them installed. And I'm assuming that whoever is going to install Quark, he knows how to find software on the internet and knows how to uh, start installing the basic installation uh, of software. So, but there are some important steps that needs to be taken throughout uh, the install preparing uh, this Quark on your computer that uh, if you miss any step, if you do any step wrong, you will not be able to run Quark on your computer. So I have created these slides that I'm going to directly point out those important steps. So I have simplified this tutorial 10 times. Any extra step is uh, deleted from here and only important steps are to be taken. So at first, I will go through MATLAB installation and required add-ons. And second, I will go through installing a C compiler. And third one is to install Quark 2018 Service Pack 1. Once everything is done, I will run a sample test to test our computer to see how it works. In this video, the product of Quancer I have with me is uh, cube servo 2 and uh, I will run this test based on servo 2 so first and foremost installing MATLAB for this product it is rec it is recommended by Quancer website that you install 2018 B because I'm installing Quark 2018 even though I'm at 2019 so for installing 2018B, first and foremost, you need to log in to your MathWorks account. Once you have logged in to your account, you will see some licenses depending on your university, what kind, what type or kind of so, uh, licenses you are given. So here I have two licenses. So click on one of them one, and then you will see this page over here you select 2018b and once you have selected that one an installer um, link will be given to you you download it and go through the installation you accept terms and all those select the where you want to install your software and once you have gone through all and this window appears during installation over here it is important and recommended by Quark that you install some specific toolboxes uh, with, Math, with MATLAB. And they are as written over here. The highlighted ones are very important. They need to be installed. First is MATLAB, Simulink, and Control System Toolbox. These three are important. And MATLAB Coder, Simulink Coder, these two are also important. The other one that you might need if you are doing electrical engineering is Simscape Electrical or, electrical or 
In the previous versions of MATLAB, you will see Simscape, Simscape Electronics, Simscape Power Systems. So you select as many as you need and state flow is also interesting uh, toolbox you might need with Simulink. I would recommend you uh, select that toolbox. That's so interesting. You might need that later on. So once you have completely successfully installed MATLAB with those required toolboxes, make sure you restart your computer. So once you have restarted your computer, now we go through the second step and that is installing a C compiler or C++ compiler. What is a compiler? Basically, a compiler is a tool that converts your script written in a higher level programming language to into a lower level programming language and that is machine language. So you have designed, you have written your program in MATLAB you use this compiler to convert it to a machine level compiler. So you have this script and you use C or C++ compiler that converts to this kind of code. So there are several um, C compilers you can install on your computer but make sure that you select the, the one that is compatible with your MATLAB. 2018B. So in this one, I've selected my uh, I've selected Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. And professional or community edition, you can select. There are some others that you can look for if you want. But in this one, I'm going through installation of Visual Studio 2017, which is compatible with versions of MATLAB. So. Um, in this step, I'm going to explain how to install Visual Studio 2017. First, select the required version. I selected Community Edition. Um, if you are a student and you only need this one for uh, running with MATLAB and student projects for this one, this is a free version and that runs all of the, uh, that uh, implements all of your needs. You don't need to pay any money but if you are using professional one that is required some payments to be done so once you have run this installer you'll see this kind of window over here so many options are available select as many as you want but one product is important is required to be installed and that is desktop development with C++ you select this one. If you need other than this one, any other uh, products, select as many as you want. Also, Windows 10 SDK is available. You can select to be installed and .NET Desktop Development. Python development is also available if you want to work with Python. So once you have selected them, click Next and go through the installation. Finish your, finish your installation. But in all of the installations, you will need an internet connection because the, some data needs to be downloaded through the installation. So once you have Visual Studio installed on your computer, close the window and restart your computer. Once you have in, restarted your computer, now you are ready to go through installation of Quark 2018. Quark is a set of tools that you can use to connect with real world stuff provided by Quanser company over here. One product I have is Cube Servo 2. To connect with this one through the simulation, these are tools you need. So for this one, you need to take some important steps. Installation is the same. You download the installer, but before installing that one, if you have gone through installation some day before, make sure you find your apps and features, find Quark and uninstall the, any previous versions. Once you have uninstalled this, make sure that you do one restart because some data might stay, might might have stayed in your 
registry so with a restart those data are also deleted so you can continue installing quark run quark installer so once you have run the quark in the first window you will see some updates if any update the, the software will look for any available updates if any update is available select to update your software and once you have updated it click next you will see this window in this window make sure that some products are you can see because quark looks for any software installed on your computer and looks for the compatibility of them with quark so make sure that matlab and c compiler are with a check mark so i have installed previously i installed matlab 2019 with that one my matlab didn't uh, show a check mark next to that one maybe the version the versions were not compatible together so I, re I uninstalled that version and went through the 2018B installation and I installed Microsoft Visual Studio now you can see that C compiler is with a check mark so with these two you select go through the installation and in this step once you see that you need to this win once you see this window you need to select a license file which you are provided by your university or your company so browse into your folder and select license file and once you have selected license file click install so during installation installation begins during installation this window will appear at some point it asks you a simple question would you like to install this device software i would recommend you uh, select always trust software from quanser consulting inc and install select install because several times it asks you to install this so it's better to select it's okay to trust this one and then without any questioning it will install any required products on your computer once you have your installation done make sure that you restart your computer for the last time so with this restart your computer is ready to run a sample test with matlab so now you can run your matlab open your matlab stay for this window to complete its process so once your matlab is ready you see this window this is the first window you appears in the command window to to see if you have install if you have done the installation completely and correctly type ber on the command line so now that you have your matlab on your computer installed click on that and run this matlab so wait for this window to complete and open matlab so now matlab is open and the command window is ready so to begin to see if your matlab is installed completely and ready just type ver to check the all products installed with matlab as you can see i have so many products installed in here important ones are matlab and simulink and control system toolbox and i have matlab coder here and simulink coder so these are important ones after installing quark you should be able to see these four products quanser HIL MATLAB API, Quanser Real Time Control. So you should be able to see all of these four. So if you have them, that means that you're ready to continue and run your simulation. So click on Simulate.